a big congratulations to everyone who took the February LSAT and got your scores back today. I hope that you crushed it. If you did, congratulations. You're done with the LSAT. It's time to switch gears and focus on your application essays. However, if you are considering a retake, there are, of course, a couple of additional test dates on the horizon you should be thinking about. You've got the April LSAT roughly six weeks away, and you've got the June LSAT a little over three months away. Those are the last two chances to take the LSAT with the logic game section. Starting with the August LSAT, they are removing the logic game section and replacing it with a second scored logical reasoning section. So if you like the games, April and June are your last chance to take it with the games. So think about, could you achieve your fullest potential in just six weeks, or would you benefit from three additional months from today of extra LSAT studying to improve your score significantly? Whether you take it in April or June, you can apply at the beginning of the cycle in the fall. Either way, even if you take it in August without the games, you can still apply in the beginning of the cycle in the fall. So three chances, April, June, and August, all of which put you in a relatively equal place when it comes to admissions timelines. And of course, law schools do not care whether you take the LSAT with or without the games section. And they don't care whether you take the LSAT once or two, three, four, five times. At the end of the day, law schools are evaluated only on the highest LSAT scores of their matriculating students. They do not average multiple LSAT scores for applicants. Rather, they only take the highest score. And for this reason, I recommend that everybody retake the LSAT at least once because of the fact that through luck alone, you could do a few points better. And if you put in additional studying, significant additional studying, you could improve significantly. So whether you're giving yourself another six weeks till April or another three months plus till June, you can improve significantly with the additional time. Now, if you are done with the LSAT, you hit your goal score in February, congratulations. We're focusing and switching gears to the application essays. You have this cycle a little bit different than previous due to the Supreme Court's ban on affirmative action. They have removed the diversity statements and replaced them with adversity statements or other optional essay prompts, which may give you additional work as an applicant to write all those extra essays, but it's well worth it. Do not reduce the number of schools you're applying to because the more schools you apply to, the more offers you get, the more scholarship money you're offered and more negotiation leverage you have when pitting different schools against each other to save significantly on your tuition. That negotiation is some of the easiest money you'll ever make. And if you're done with the LSAT, the application essays are the next area to focus to make a significant impact on your opportunities for where you want to go to law school, what your options will be. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed by all the different essays this year, I'd be glad to help you out and remove some of that burden from you. At Elson Unplugged, we offer a unique service where we give you unlimited application essay editing for all of your drafts, as many rounds of edits and revisions as you need for your personal statement, adversity statements, optional essays, addenda, resume, even help requesting letters of rec. We help you with all of that. So check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd be glad to help you out. And if you are considering a retake in April, June, August, or beyond, and you are aiming for a 170 or above, I'd be glad to explore the possibility of working with you to help you achieve that goal. I do have a couple of requirements for working with me though. I do ask that you have scored a 160 or above on at least one timed practice test, and that you've built a strong foundation in the basics of the LSAT, the different sections, and the different question types. If this describes you and you'd like to find out more, please check out the links below to book a call with me and my team. We'd be glad to help you out. And if you haven't yet hit that benchmark, that's okay too. There are a variety of other ways I could support you as well, whether it's through our live online classes via Zoom, our on-demand video courses, or our small group coaching program. Anyway, folks, that's all for now. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and share it with someone who needs to see it. Maybe you also have friends who took the February LSAT and are trying to figure out what are the next steps in terms of retaking and weighing and measuring the different options, April, June, August, or just keeping their current score. Whatever it is, this video could make a massive difference for them in helping them navigate the law school admissions journey and have the best possible admissions outcome. And also the more folks who find these videos, 
it helps motivate me as well to keep making more videos. I don't do any advertising for this channel. I rely only on word of mouth to help get the word out. And your sharing the video really does make a massive difference. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.